Hi, everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'm excited to share with you my fourth alternative project using the January 2023 paper pumpkin kit called Key to My Heart. This fun kit created nine handmade cards, three in three different designs. I love the fun color combinations and unique images that these cards have. If you are interested in seeing more of my alternative projects or watching me unbox this kit, you can visit my playlist and I'll link it up here in the top right corner. Each month, I like to take the contents from the paper pumpkin kits and make alternative projects. Today, I'm sharing with you another card idea. I love that this card, it has that monochromatic look with little touches of gold and pink. I am so excited for February's kit called Sunshine and Smiles. It will make some adorable cards for friends. It also has a special die cut add-on and coordinates perfectly with the Rain or Shine product suite collection. You can check out all of these things through my online store and that link is below in the description. This card uses the envelope pattern for the background and then this watercolor piece comes from the back panel of this card here. You can see that watercolor in the background. So we're going to begin by trimming off the white area and I'm gonna start by trimming at four inches and that should give us um, just that watercolor shape there. And then we need to evenly trim from the left and right sides. And our end size that we want is two and three fourths inches. So let's first begin by removing a half inch on each side and we'll see where that puts us. So a half inch will put us at three and a quarter inches. So we need to remove a quarter inch more on each side. So now I'm going to do three fourths of an inch on this side and we'll go back and do a quarter of an inch on this side. So you'll get something like this. And then we do need to trim our envelope so that we can open it up and use the pattern paper on the inside. So I just remove a little bit from all of the edges and then I go ahead and trim this and I want it to be four and one eighth of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. So the next step is to create a um, repeated pattern on the background on the watercolor piece. So I'm using the I Love You and the heart stamp. So let's start with the I Love You. And you can stamp this anywhere. The key is just to try to keep it straight when you stamp so that it's not angled. And I kind of like to group them together. So maybe do two together and then find another area to stamp in. So maybe something like this. Then we're going to do the hearts and I don't want this to be as dark as the I love you. So I'm going to stamp off first and then stamp on and I'm going to stamp around the I love you's. So you'll get something that looks like this. So now we can begin adding these things to our card base. I'm going to add them to a card base of fresh freesia. And I want the darker part on the bottom of my card. So the lighter is at the top and there'll be just a small border all the way around. Then I'm going to add the watercolor piece that we just worked on in the center with some dimensionals. Then I've got my greeting on one of the labels from the kit and I've stamped my sentiment in the center and I'm going to add that maybe about a half inch or so from the bottom. Looks like I've covered up 
a little bit of the text that I had there, but that's okay. And then I'm going to add the gold heart lock right in the center. And if you want to have it overlap just a little bit on that greeting, you can. So they're just touching slightly. So the next thing that I'm going to do to my card is I'm going to add some embellishments. And I decided to use the pink for everything fancy sequins. And um, I am going to add a lot of them. So I'm going to use my liquid glue and just make some dots in the different corners. So I'm going to do some in the left and in the bottom right. So top left, bottom right. And you just want to do little tiny dots. And then the, this glue does dry tacky. And so we are going to actually dry it just a little bit with our heat tool. So I'm just going to take my heat tool on low setting and dry these glue dots just a little bit. So they are still white and still have a little bit of liquid in them. But they're starting to dry and so it won't like ooze out everywhere. And it's more tacky so it will pull off from my um, take a pick tool. And I, what I like to do with the sequins is actually drop them into the lid so that I can see the individual ones a little better. And I'm focusing on the gold and pink ones for this card. And so then when I lay it down, it should just stick right to those dots of glue. The gold ones are a little harder because they have a more bowl shape. So if you need to pull out maybe a, a real glue dot, that might work better for those. So if I need to use a glue dot, I like to take them and cut them in half, sometimes even in a quarter, depending on the size of your glue dot. And then you can roll it onto your take a pick. So now I have this little bit of glue on the tip of my take a pick tool. And I'm actually going to lay it down where I want the sequin. And then I can add the sequin on top. So that's if like the sequin just will not stick because of its shape. You can do um, a technique like that. So just have fun adding these to your card. So something like that for the top corner. It may be something like that in the bottom. And it doesn't need to be perfect or the same every time. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun card today and learning some of these fun little tips that you can do to make your cards extra special. If you are interested in getting your own paper pumpkin kit, please use the link below to subscribe. If you would like to see written instructions or close-up images on how I created this card, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.